You're not going to want to miss this. So there's a lot going on in the world right now, and I don't want that to limit people's creativity with puppetry. So there's a couple things I want to recommend to you guys. The first thing is that you don't need fancy supplies and puppets in order to create your own puppet show. There have been very successful puppeteers that use just common objects. One of my favorite examples of this is Hugo and Inez. I was lucky enough to see them perform live a few years ago at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center for the puppetry conference. And the stuff that they do is amazing. They just use common objects and their bodies to put on the these amazing puppet shows. And the beauty of their work is in its simplicity and elegance. And they're known around the world for their work. So I thought their work was a really good example of a way to think creatively with the things around you. At the end of the day, a puppet is just an object that you can manipulate. So instead of using a formal puppet, you can just use any objects and animate them with your hands. Another friend of mine, Sarah Nolan, has made an amazing piece using just silverware and other kitchen supplies. And don't forget about the puppets that you already have. A lot of people who have been following this channel for a while have built their own puppets. And rather than make something new for every project, think about repurposing old characters. Maybe even take an old character and give it a new personality and try something different with it. It worked for Elmo. He used to just be a background character. Stay together. To spend all day together. And we sing this song together. Cause we got all then he got into the hands of a new puppeteer who gave him a new personality and it just took off. Even though that puppet had been knocking around in the background for a couple of years. Elmo's oh, oh, so oh, happy oh, to oh. see you because now Elmo can help Kermit do something. Um, Yay! Elmo, uh... Sometimes having limited options forces us to be creative in ways we never would have thought of. One more point I want to make about the beauty of puppetry is that you can use a whole group of people, a whole team of people to create a show. But you can also create a show all by yourself. Using multiple puppets you can play different characters and even create your own whole show. One of my favorite examples of this is my good friend John Jennings from Tipsy Roo. He has a show called Hello Good Morning that he has been live streaming weekly for many years and he does it all by himself live. Not just the performing but all the technical aspects as well including the switching of the graphics during the live show. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, my friends? What about Halloween Town? Oh, Halloween Town was good. I, I don't know, this was the OG. Oh, here's another uh, wizardy warlock. Good old sword in the stone. If you click right here, you can see a tutorial that he made that shows all the craziness that goes behind the scenes of making one of those episodes. One more example I want to give you of how simple you can get is this little video that I made years ago. It's this little character trying to blow out a candle. It's extremely simple. It's just this little character trying to blow out a candle for a happy birthday video. And all I used was my fingers and a Sharpie. <gasps> Even with such basic tools, I'm able to get all this expression out of such a simple little character just by switching my fingers. I hope these examples have given you inspiration on how to make a lot out of a little just using things around you. And now I have a little bit of a challenge for you guys. I want to see what you guys can come up with. I want to see a simple puppet skit made by you. For World Puppetry Day this year, which is March 21st, I'd like to make a compilation video of all your puppetry videos that you guys send to me. The only restriction is I don't want them to be too long. These should be simple skits and new work. About a minute long at most, but they can be shorter. The way you submit is to post it on the YouTube and then put a link to that video down in the comments. Please keep them all playful and positive because I want to take all those videos, put them together, and premiere them here on World Puppetry Day. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And if you're looking to check out more live streaming puppetry shows, shows, here's a couple options. Over the next couple days, the Center for Puppetry Arts is going to be live streaming a bunch of their puppet shows to the public. And they've been getting a really great response so far, so definitely make sure you check those out. The other one I wanted to mention was Heather Henson's Handmade Puppet Dreams. They have a live stream they're doing for families on World Puppetry Day as well. 
And you can find more information on the Center for Puppetry Arts and Handmade Puppet Dreams down in the description. Well guys, that's it for now. I cannot wait to see the videos that you're gonna send me. I've seen a lot of other videos people have sent me over the years, so I'm really excited for this challenge. All right guys, see you next time.